The scheme here at Wimbish came because there was a, an identified local housing need. So I has to work with the parish council in identifying a possible uh, exception site. We worked with a local landowner who made this piece of land available, which was previously an arable field. We were developing an interest in Passive House at the same time as Hasto happened to be developing one and just over one of those regular meetings we said you should be doing a Passive House scheme and they said we are, so uh, yeah, that's how it all started. We were really lucky to have a grant from the Technology Strategy Board to enable us to carry out a full um, monitoring programme on Wimbush, which has continued for two and a half years and we monitored the CO2 levels, the temperature of course, and relative humidity in the houses. And we also were able on three of the houses to fully monitor the power usage and the gas usage. The main figures really relate to, firstly, sort of thermal comfort, that temperatures, humidity, CO2 levels are all where we expected them to be and then the energy consumption that the gas can used for heating and for hot water was very, very low and in line with the passive house design expectations. Performance has varied very little with time, certainly in terms of the, the energy consumption. Over time, my house has performed probably exactly the same as it did four years ago, no different from when we moved in. There's not really a difference apart from we know how to use the house better. Feedback from residents, they are telling us that they've got uh, very comfortable homes to live in and their heating bills are really low. I think one of them was like seven pounds. It's just a nice place to live. We were looking to buy a bigger house as my kids are getting older. Um, but every house we look at, <laughs> the um, how do I explain it? The cost of living kind of puts us off when we're used to living in a house that doesn't cost that much to run. I wouldn't go back to the old house, no. Um, I definitely prefer the passive house. Definitely have more holidays. Definitely. <laughs> One of the good things about the Wimbush scheme actually was the reception locally. Um, I think some people may know that actually it's the parish council who encouraged us to do a very sustainable scheme in the first place. So we're actually quite delighted to have been invited back to deliver a second passive house scheme in the same settlement. So Wimbush 2, as it's known, is about to get underway. Because the parish council was so keen on passive house in the first instance, they said they would really like us to deliver the second phase also to Passive House standard and that's what we set out to do.